on guys you guys were all super excited for relationships part two and i have a little bit of downtime sorry it's been a while but it's Why sunday face? i will later in the video but anyways i i got a brand new sketchbook oh no no spoilers no spoilers Ooh, that's actually a pretty good picture no rock lee baby no <laughs> but anyways i already have a few pictures pre-drawn so hopefully i'll remember what i was thinking when i drew them and uh, these are more recent so i'm probably not going to say names that are remotely close like i did last time because uh some of these people are a little salty but uh, let's continue all right so this story starts out at the beach and my favorite beach of course to go to is in south carolina either myrtle beach or hilton head this one happened at hilton head though but i don't know about you guys but at the beach i love to play spike ball and there's this awesome arcade called the gay dolphin with amazing prizes like cute little stuffed animals the workers there are awesome and yeah but it was made back when gay meant happy so it's it's still pretty straight anyways so this time i'm at hilton head though so there's none of that but there is this amazing breakfast place called the olympic flame with the best french toast mm. so it's pretty much like cracker barrels mama's french toast special anyways i'm off track so this is ninth grade summer uh this is i i did the first part of my bedroom fitness wasn't as refined as it used to be i mean as it is now but anyways so i'm walking around i see this girl on the skimboard and i'm like Dang! <laughs> and I'm just like kind of flexing on her a little bit, walking by, throwing frisbee with my brother. Sometimes I throw the frisbee where she was, kind of like go pick it up, flex my abs on the way. But then one next second I look and she's gone, just completely gone. So I'm like, oh well. And we, her code name was Skimboard Girl Number One. No. So, anyways, next day I'm at the pool. I said I'm just chilling, sunbathing, and then I see this other girl. And my jaw hits the floor. Imagine that girl from the first video, the one I liked in sixth grade, 10 times hotter. And I'm not saying that to spite that girl. I'm saying that to prove how hot this girl is, man. She was like just mm, amazing. So we called her Skimboard Girl 2.0. And that wasn't a very creative nickname, but whatever. All right, let me put this here. All right, so uh, where were we? Oh, yes, yes. So now I'm in the pool, like, throwing football. I accidentally throw my ball over near her. I need to, like, scope her out. So I throw my ball, and my brother's like, what the heck? He doesn't know what's going on. And it, like, splashes right beside her. And then I, like, get closer, and she throws it back. And I'm like, thanks. And then I make eye contact. And then I pick up the ball, and I say, go long. And I'm, like, looking back at her, flexing my bicep. And she's just like, what? So, anyways... A couple more days of flirting, and we're, like, swimming past each other in the pool, kind of, like, locking eyes, like, grazing fingertips. Might have been a little... What's <laughs> 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 going on? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, next, I get my scuba diving equipment, because I got to check this girl out. I got to spy on her. I'm, like, looking for possible BFs. I'm looking for, like, cultural interests. I, uh, okay, just interests, basically. So I'm, like, spying, and, uh... Basically, nothing else happened for the rest of the week. And then on the last night of the trip, I'm just like, hmm, well, I might as well do something. It's worth a try. So I'm, I just like tell my, because me, Caleb, and Brooke would all go down to the pool deck and just kind of chill there. So I told them, I'm, I'm doing it, man. I'm just going to hit on her. So then they're like hiding in the bushes, kind of watching. And then I just like run up to her full Naruto style. <laughs> I'm like sprinting up and then I stop and I'm just like, I run up to her, I'm like, kind of feel myself and then i'm like what's up good looking she's like looking at her phone she like slowly looks up and is just like and then what happens next is insane she's like looking at her phone she like slowly looks up and is just like and then what happens next is insane then she just makes eye contact and then bursts out in laughter and then i'm just like kind of looking humiliated there and then i just slowly walk away in defeat and then she goes off and probably tells her boyfriend about it. <laughs> so the next thing happened in 8th grade. Sorry for the time skip. I just accidentally did these a little out of order. So 8th grade, back when I had a lot less experience with women. This was my first major experience, if you know what I'm saying. So there are some pictures of me. And that one with the fish wasn't... Uh, uh, yeah, that one with the fish, I was not in 8th grade. I just thought that was a cute little picture of me from when I was a kid. So I put it in there. Deal with it. Anyways, so let's begin with this eighth grade story. So this one, I'm, I don't think I'm going to draw too much. It was just a pretty simple story. Didn't really know the girl, didn't really like the girl. Seemed kind of weird. Then we got moved together in science. And I'm talking to her, I'm like, 
pretty nice. I'm liking the personality. So then something happens and we start texting. Then we start hanging out. Then track season comes along and she's doing it. So I'm like, I might as well do it because she's doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyways, I'm like, okay, well, I might as well do it since she's doing it. And then we run together. It's kind of graceful like us just running. And then we kind of text some more. We're talking and then I'm kind of like, like, let's get serious here. I kind of like you. And then she's like, mm, mm, mm. and then she starts like waking up every day and picking either me, my friend Noah or my friend Connor and liking one of us. It's completely random every day. <laughs> one day she just wakes up and likes one of us. So pretty much that went on for like a week. And then we were all like, we definitely weren't fighting over. We were all kind of like, there's a little bit of tension, you know, a little bit of tension, like a little bit of like something in the air, kind of like a little glare out of the... Okay, I don't know how to describe it, but we were all like, all right, she can't make up her mind, so we're just going to get out. And that was my eighth grade one. Anyway, so I'm at my grandparents' house anyway. So look how cute I was in sixth grade. Look how cute me and Caleb were as little babies. Look at how Show cute me. Brooke was. I did, I did. Look at how, oh, that's Lainey. We don't talk about Lainey. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And there's Noah. There's my Uncle Brett. Is Daniel on here? That's Daniel. So, anyways, get get off, get off. So, anyways, my ninth grade love interest. Basically, I remember this one girl. I think she was, I think she was new in ninth grade. Brooke, just stop. So, basically, this one girl I liked for like a day, and then I realized I had no chance. She was kind of new, and we would talk to each other in math, and I'd be like, "What's up?" And we had nicknames for each other. Her, my nickname for her was KB. So, you guys can try to figure out who that was. I'm not going to tell you what my nickname was because I honestly forgot. But anyways, so that didn't last very long. She was like taller than me and way too popular and stuff. So anyways, then the next one happens. And basically, we're in the same Bible class. And hmm, I'm kind of like joking around talking to her. And then like one of my friends, one day she's walking by and like one of my friends goes, Hey, Eli, isn't that the girl you like? And then I just like try to hide behind couches and I'm like trying to fit into a very small area. I'm just like awkwardly crouching in as she walks by. And then like, I'm, I'm like, nah, this isn't going to work out either. So that's the extent of my ninth grade likes. Oh yeah. And I'm pretty sure I had some like kind of bad friends back then. I'm not going to name any names, but I'm pretty sure word got around that I liked her anyways. Cause I like trusted one person with a secret and they told everyone. So I'm pretty sure word got around and like weird stuff, weird rumors about me anyway. So I'm, that's another reason why I decided just to give up. Let's head on to 10th grade, which is this year. Say hello to Rock Lee. Anyways, so 10th grade, I got my car, got my license. I'm like ready to go. I'm like, I always told myself, dude, don't worry. Just don't worry about it. Once you get a car, then you'll start being a little more serious about the women. I still haven't gotten a girlfriend. Okay. I'm so anyways, the one, I kind of like this girl for a little bit. Things were kind of, I'd known her for a while, pretty much since sixth grade. We're going to call her Bertha. Don't want to name any names because things are still a little mm, weird. But anyways, me and Bertha, we've been talking on and off for years. We, we've texted some, you know, it's kind of just, she don't got no BS. So I'm just like kind of, all right, I think I'm going to start complimenting her a little bit. Kind of show her that I'm interested. So some days I'll be like, hey, your hair looks nice today. Or you have very pretty eyes. It's kind of innocent stuff like that. But then one day I, I told her, I think I said the hair's on fleek today. And then she was just like, you freak, you misogynistic pig. You, you're so weird. Just, just stop talking to me. I'm going to block you on every, every, every platform. Right, so first I'm like, hold up. How'd you know about the pig thing? I only massage pigs on weekends. My boy Timmy better not be snitching. And secondly, I'm like, man, I thought girls like to be complimented. Maybe I should just call the girl ugly next time. But anyways, so that's how that happened. Sadly, no longer can slide into Google chats. Because that's kind of my method of flirtation now. I've realized sliding into people's Google chats because you don't really have to consensually get their number. You can just type their name and start chatting them. So I've done that for the past two 10th grade ones. The other one that I'm about to talk to, didn't, I didn't get a response from. I wonder why. The next one happened like two weeks ago, honestly. For some reason, I was an idiot and videotaped it. I just set it up against my backpack. This was before school started. So what you're seeing now is my flex class. And I was like... I didn't even like this girl for like more than a day. I'm just like, YOLO, it's less painful if you put less effort and time into it. So I was like, I'm gonna get rejected real quick. So first, I kind of just 
standing out of the frame, just contemplating my life decisions for a solid like minute, just like staring at her, just like thinking if I'm gonna back out or not, getting the courage up. And then like sometime around here, I just start like scooting in slow as ever, just sliding in. I'd like take a step, then I slide, and then I take a step. So then I'm kind of just like standing behind her like, it's not too late to back out. <laughs> and then I'm like kind of waiting for her to notice me and she doesn't. So I slide in like, hey, yo, what up? And then she finally turns. She's like, oh, hello. And I'm like, so you don't know me very well. I don't know you very well. And I'm narrating this like pretty much exactly how I said it. And I was like, but how would you like to go to this like sophomore movie night thing? <laughs> and then she was like, no, I have a softball game. And then she gave me the fist bump of mutual respect. And then I walked away. My eyes green or brown? That's that's a good question. Comment down below which one they are. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. This video took a lot of time as usual. So make sure to share, drop a like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't already, I meant to say. Ooh, look at this cool picture of me. That is me in the gay dolphin from eighth grade. It's on my grandma's mirror. I've been at my grandma's house this entire time. So drop a like. Thank you all. I love all my subscribers.